Today I'm talking about a film that went from the airplane to the big screen and was directed by one of the greats, Francis Ford Coppola. Of course I'm not talking about The Godfather. I'm talking about the 1997 legal drama, The Rainmaker. It's no wonder they spend so much money on their lawyers and their lobbyists and their their public relations machine to convince us we need tort reform. The movie addresses the complex insurance industry through the story of a young and idealistic lawyer named Rudy Baylor, played by Matt Damon. Do you even remember when you first sold out? Other key performances include Danny DeVito, Claire Danes, John Voight, and Mickey Rorick. The film revolves around Rudy Baylor's legal battle against a large insurance company that refuses to pay for a life-saving operation for a man suffering from leukemia. If I had had a bone marrow transplant, I would have had a 90% chance of living. Fresh out of law school, Rudy finds himself pitted against a team of experienced lawyers in a true David versus Goliath story. With the help of a paralegal played by Danny DeVito, they start building their case. The movie digs into the ethical compromises, courtroom tactics, and moral dilemmas that come with a high-profile case. That was not a meeting in chambers. That was an ambush. What happened? They tag-teamed me. The film is based on a book by John Grisham, who's become well-known for his legal thrillers. The author has stated The Rainmaker is his favorite adaptation of his novels. Francis decided to make the film after reading Grisham's book. He bought it at an airport and finished reading it during his flight. He found it so engaging, he decided to make it his next project. The Rainmaker would become Matt Damon's first leading role. Coppola decided to cast Damon as the lead after being impressed by him in the movie Courage Under Fire. One could say that this role set the stage for Matt Damon's successful acting career. So, so I should solicit. What they teach you in law school? Well, they didn't teach me how to chase ambulances. Well, you better learn quick, you're gonna starve. When people hear the name Francis Ford Coppola, they usually think of The Godfather or Apocalypse Now. Those films are certainly significant, but his work isn't limited to them. The Rainmaker shows another side of Coppola as a filmmaker. The Rainmaker is an often overlooked film and shows a different side of Coppola's filmmaking career. Despite its lack of widespread attention, it deserves a second look for its compelling story and strong performances. So if you're interested in either Coppola's range as a director or Grisham's storytelling, please don't overlook The Rainmaker.